Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Knockreiner. Today's story is about malvertising exploiting secure web connections. You've probably heard about malvertising. I've talked about it before, but it stands for malicious advertising. In general, it's when attackers leverage legitimate advertising networks and they purchase ad space. But rather than posting a legitimate ad, they actually uh, include some malicious code in their ad that redirects victims to a drive-by download site. Now, of course, these legitimate advertising networks work and partner with very trusted websites, the type of websites you visit every day that you see a little advertising in. That means you can visit a normal site and if you're unlucky enough to get one of these malicious ads, your computer might be forced to a drive-by download site that might force malware onto your computer. Now this is a very effective technique for attackers. As a result, malvertising has grown threefold. Now today's story talks about a new twist in malvertising. Specifically, more ad networks are starting to leverage HTTPS. They're starting to allow secure web communications for their advertisements. And this is turning out to be a good thing for attackers who can obfuscate or hide their actual malicious advertisements longer simply because many old security controls cannot look at HTTPS traffic. In fact, Motherboard has an article about this where they talked to a researcher from Fox IT. He highlights a malicious advertising campaign that lasted three weeks before anyone found it simply because the attacker was using an advertising network that supported HTTPS. And this is something I've talked about in the past. Overall, the internet is going to increasingly adopt HTTPS or secure web communications as the default. In general, this is a good thing. It allows you to make sure your communications are private and it also allows you to make sure you're going to the website you really think you are. However, there is a hidden dark side here and that's that attackers love HTTPS too. They know a lot of legacy security controls can't see that traffic so it's a good way to hide their attacks. So what's the practical takeaway here? With most of the web traffic changing to HTTPS, it's very important that you have security controls that can temporarily decrypt and scan HTTPS traffic. For instance, WatchGuard has our HTTPS application layer gateway. In any case, this particular HTTPS malvertising campaign is a perfect example of this. So as you consider future security, make sure that you can also secure HTTPS traffic as well. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching. Thank you.